Hey, we're waiting. What? Uh, y'all are all about to pay $50? Sir, can you please stop making that movement? Don't make me call the police on you. It's time for the kissing booth. Ronnie thought he got out of it. He upped the price to $50 for a kiss. He got back, or well, she at the moment, because he's in Veronica's body. And there's a line. There is a line for everybody. Boys lining up, some girls lining up. Everyone says, like, these hands are rated E. Oh, no, in Ronnie's case, his lips are about to be rated E for everyone because the whole school is lined up. <laughs> he did not know what he got himself into when he was trying to be so sweet to Harley and take over the kissing booth stand because you know, she was uncomfortable. I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to be in the kissing booth either. Like, I don't know where your lips have been. I'm sorry, like... Please, no, it's it's not happening for me. It's, you can't, someone in my comments said, like, it should come with an STD test too. I just don't know where your lips have been. It's, but I'm a germaphobe in the first place. But Ronnie, he did not know that he was technically going to be having a kiss, boys. And here we are. I'm ready. I'm ready to see what goes on with this. So we're going to jump into this. But please go follow and read the amazing author, Elusa's story. She's such a wonderful writer, a wonderful person. You will not be disappointed with her work. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. This chapter's title, It's Just a Kiss. Ronnie, 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 what did you get yourself into? That expensive, I hope it's worth it. At least 10 minutes. This is where it ended off last time. And with tongue, sir, we'll bite your tongue off. How about that? The fact they're willing to pay $50 for this, desperate. The desperation of this line, breathe. If I'll escape now, Rebecca's reputation could be ruined. I can't just leave. And Harley could get into trouble. Ready? <laughs> oh, oh, Ronnie. Um, think about I hot hot girls. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I lost the points. I was trying to make it more enjoyable for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or imagine. <gasps> I can't imagine in the kiss with Harley, but we lost the point. You know what? It's <laughs> It's, it was for Ronnie, okay? Damn, get out of my head. Maybe imagine he's a famous actress. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh! And Veronica is going little kiss kiss. That was perfect. It wasn't that bad. Ronnie's bisexual era is here. Next. Oh! I mean... <laughs> I mean, is she good? I'm in love, man. I want to propose. Ronnie's going for everyone. See, it was ready to eat for everyone. Oh, Harley's over here like, I can't believe this. Oh, she's sad. She's sad one hour later. I think she's sad. Maybe she's not. Maybe I read that wrong. Gosh, kissing is a hard job. At least nobody I know wanted to kiss from Veronica or something. Hey, Veronica missed me. Not him. It's gonna be not Jacob. Isn't Jacob, if I remember correctly, does he doesn't he like not shower? Just there's no hygiene with him, I don't think. No way. I already paid for the kiss. Decline and I'll go to the dean. Oh, are are you threatening us? Jacob, are you threatening us? Come on, you said I broke your heart. Maybe it'll get repaired, who knows? Damn it. No points, your choice. I don't... I kind of want to kiss him just to be dramatic. <laughs> okay, but I'm going to kiss him to be dramatic just because of it. But let me tell you something. In this situation, you say no. Don't be don't be listening to none of this, like, the threaten. In real life, don't be doing none of this. But we're going to take his money because I want my $50 and you already did it. <laughs> And we're putting Ronnie through it. <laughs> of course he didn't brush his teeth. He's, you know what? Maybe the next one could be free in your dreams, ass boat. <laughs> I just had to do that. I have my little double horns on. I had to just put, I just had to put Ronnie through some drama for the fun of it. Okay. I can't believe you really kissed Jacob. You know what? It wasn't what I wanted. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I had to bring some extra drama to the moment. I'll wash my mouth a hundred times a day for the next week. You're going to need to wash your mouth. You need a toothbrush. You're going to need mouthwash. I need to lie. Go to the dentist. Really get a cleaning. Good luck with that. So you were watching me kissing jocks. Admit? Admit what? Maybe for a second when I had a break. I just finished working at my stand, so I wanted to check up on you. How was your stand? It was fine. I earned a few bucks. And you, how's the kissing booth in jar? Look at that tip jar. Look at that jar. We can't deny Ronnie may bank. How was the kissing? It was traumatic. I hate kissing random people. Y'all yeah, right. Anyway, you owe me for saving you from this mess. Yes, thanks for that. I think our favors neutralize each other and we're even now. That sounds good. But no kissing for me for at least a week. Yeah, no kissing for a week. Damn, she remembers it after all. I knew it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Oh, so are you finished? We could grab some popcorn. I think so. Nobody else is staying in here, so. Hey, Veronica. Here, $50 from me. Oh, Dahlia? Oh, I don't know, Dahlia. I don't know you'd be so shy with the amount of stuff you did at the club. I forgot about the cover. I like girl. Another one of my very messy decisions. Nice try. Come on, stop with this nonsense. Oh, I don't think he understands, darling. Maybe he wants to hear I'll take you to bed. Okay, well, we didn't lie. We half lie. It was a half truth in that club. It was because Ronnie technically likes girls. He's just not technically a lesbian. Or I guess bisexual in Veronica's body. I don't really know what you consider this. But he's she's been flirting with you. Yeah, it was quite intense. Oh, you saw her wrong. Did I sense that wrong? I better go. Harley, weird. You said you were a lesbian, so it shouldn't be. <laughs> I made some very interesting decisions. And so, you know what? It's bringing drama, y'all. It's So where's my kiss? Uh, we just, a quick kiss on that. <laughs> Poor Ronnie. I'm making awful decisions for him. But Dolly is really sweet. I liked Dolly. I have to go see you later. But your booth money. Harley waits. Are you angry? It wasn't like that. I told you not to touch Dolly and Coco. Is it hard to remember? It was a fake arrangement to make Jacob stay away from me. She clearly took it more seriously than you. Did you even tell her it's just a game? I didn't. It made more sense to keep the cover just in case Jacob is back. Oh, if you only did it to achieve your goals, you used her. I did and I regret it. I shouldn't have ended like that. I was drunk and hell, why am I even explaining myself? Because, because you're using my friends even though I told you to stay away from them. After everything we've been through. Hey, chill out, it was so long ago. We hated each other back then. Oh, so it wasn't recent. No, do you remember our argument in the club? Everything got nasty and I was pissed. I'm not doing anything like that anymore. Okay, fine, it makes sense. So you only did it because of Jacob. Yes. You didn't plan a seducer or... Gosh, no. Okay, it was only flirting after all. Okay, why is it even my business, Harley? Because secretly deep down, you like Ronnie. And Ronnie likes her. I'm ready for them to be a couple. Why do I care so much? You look pale. I just don't feel well. Listen. Oh, Oh, we got close. Is it all about the kissing booth F? Veronica heard about your great success. Everyone says that you were the star of today's carnival. Um, thanks, but I have something to talk to Harley about and it's nothing. I'll see you later. Um, see you. Oh no, damn it. Come on, Rebecca, let's count the revenue. I, <laughs> I just know my choice with Jacob is going to come back and bite me in the ass <laughs> That was an amazing score. It was a good decision to put you at the kissing booth. Harley would have never earned that much. Um, Let's not talk about Harley like that. I think she'd handle it pretty well if she wanted to. Are you interested in doing more things like that? Things like the kissing booth? What else are we going to do? Uh, To be honest, I'm leaving school soon. Oh, really? That's a shame. Yeah, I'll miss everyone. Your club looks very good, I must say. And your initiatives. I like how passionate about you are about your projects. Oh yeah, it's mostly Liz. She has the best ideas. Well, you're lucky to have her. Speaking of, um, sorry to interrupt. 
Can I talk to Rebecca? Oh, no worries. I'll leave you two alone. Wait. Spy and listen. Let's see. What do you want? I said it wasn't. Ooh. Ooh. The girls are kissing, Liz. We can't do that. Don't you want it back? Be honest with me. I don't think it's a good idea. Is it because of the engagement? How do you know about that? I overheard Barney talking to the guys. They're going to be officially engaged, right? Well, yes, it's settled. Does he even like you? Because I really like you back. Stop it. It's all fun for you. Fun? Listen, I know what you think about Barney, but I had some time to think about it. And I'll marry him. It's the... No! It's the only reason... Rebecca, no! We may disagree on some things, but deep down, he cares about me. Anyone who cares about you is not going to treat you like he treated you at the other day at the carnival or today. I don't remember, but... Why would he want to be engaged if he didn't? And do you love him? It's marriage we're talking about. Of course I do. How can you even ask? We're perfect for each other. The only person that makes it difficult is you. Oh, sorry to make your life so difficult. I better go have fun with the other girls, huh? It's all for fun after all. Liz, that's not what I meant. Damn, that was messy. Rebecca has to see right through this Barney guy. Oh, will you marry me? Um, that off creep. Hey, no need to be rude. I still remember our kiss. Dude, it was a kissing booth. It wasn't anything serious, but it can be. Just let me introduce myself. My father is, you know... We might have been rude, but this is creepy. Let's let's not act like some random man proposing isn't creepy. I don't want to get married, okay? But I've already bought a ring. Not my problem. Just give me a chance. <laughs> As if Jacob wasn't enough. Come on, I'm not that good of a kisser. But you are. Also, this is the girl who kept the carnival rolling. I wanted to thank you in person. Rebecca's boyfriend. Time to snoop. Why did I think he was a teacher when he walked in? I was thinking like, oh, it's the teacher. Buzz Barney. Oh. Ooh, hi. Go away, Barney. I'm proposing here. I don't care. I have a fiance. Yeah, your engagement soon. How do you feel about your last day of freedom? Luckily, as Becca is busy with carnival papers, I have a free evening tomorrow. That means club night. A friendly approach. I sh- maybe I should have done the flirty approach. But I feel, you know, we need to chill on the floor and I need to, we need to save Ronnie's soul. Where are you going, Daniel? Maybe we can party a bit. Why are you interested? The Dove tomorrow at 8 p.m. Shall I drive you there? Oh, we, no thanks, I'm busy tomorrow. <laughs> Girl, so come on. Oh, but we're going to show up. So Barney's going to the Dove tomorrow and I'm a guy on Sundays. Quinton, where are you? I think I'm closer to figuring out this case. Are you? Rebecca and Barney are like orange juice and toothpaste. They just don't fit together. But she doesn't seem to see it. Maybe they fit and you just don't want them to. What if she needs the engagement to heal her heart? Buddy, trust me, I know what a guy spooned over a girl looks like. And it is on Barney. Why would he propose if he doesn't care about Rebecca? That's what I have to find out. I don't know. It feels too complicated. How else would you fix her heart if she became single? Oh, well, Liz is right there. There's one person who is interested in Rebecca. Her name is Liz. Liz, oh, so Rebecca's by. I guess. Well, we don't know that for sure. Maybe she's figuring herself out. Damn, there's so many bi people around me lately. Oh, you mean, um, you know, Harley. Harley's bi. Ha- that was a weird reaction, Quentin. I heard her talking to her friend at the camp. Oh, now that I think about it. Is there any connection between you two? Well, sexual attraction for sure. I think he likes me. I know it might sound silly, especially for you. You mean me being demi- Oh, yeah, okay, Harley's demisexual. Don't worry, it doesn't sound silly. It sounds like a totally normal thing. And I heard something about demi, but I didn't have a chance to check it out. Oh, interesting. Enlighten me. Okay, they only experience attraction after getting to know someone better. Okay, no begging without bonding. It's Ronnie's interpretation. You could say that in a very Ronish way. Basically, all love at first sight. Charming boys and flirting with strangers would and end well. Although it's not always that clear. Okay, that's making things complicated. You're sweating. I can see something is wrong. You can always share. It's just... I kissed Harley. Oh, he's admitting. 